Bubble assumes that your application may rely on a user management system. So automatically, every application handles user signup, login, and logout for you. Typically, setting up user authentication with a traditional framework takes hours of tinkering. But with Bubble, it is built in and ready to go out of the box. You can even integrate with any service like Google, Twitter, or Facebook, and it's just as straightforward. The application assistant takes it another step further and has provided us with the design and workflow for handling our user sign up and login for us. In our preview, we have a button for sign up and login. Without even doing anything, it loads a pre made form that we can fill out and sign up for our application. And just like that, when this workflow completes, a new user has been signed up to the app. Notice we have a few input elements that each represent email and password. To allow for users to join our app, we need the user to fill this form out. Whatever the user types into these inputs are the values we need to save. The subsequent workflow for this is then, when this button is clicked, sign the user up. In this action's property editor, you'll notice that the only requirements for adding users to your app is making sure your inputs are correct. What we're doing here is telling Bubble to get the input values from the form, and that's it. We store this information in the data tab under data types. Data types are the way Bubble lets us express logic for our application. Think of them as the blueprint for the thing you are trying to make. This is what Bubble gives us out of the box. Each data type comes with a built-in created and modified date field, but the user type comes with a built-in field for storing the user's email. Bubble takes it from there, adds the user to your database, and you're done. By handling users out of the box, Bubble allows for us to focus on what makes our applications unique instead of having to spend hours with behind-the-scenes setup. In the next lesson, we're going to look at our application's database.